Hello everyone, welcome back to Betrayer. I've got some stuff to sell and some stuff to buy. Oh, that's not how you sell stuff. Whoops. Yep, bunch of crappy bows. Ooh, I've actually got a short bow. I think I'm about to buy one, though. I'll hold on to it, though, just in case. I've got 800 monies. Hmm. Yeah, I think I want the short bow. Yeah, that's definitely what I want next. Yeah, let's go with it. Alright, so what do I want to replace? Um... The common pistol or the rusty musket? If I replace the common pistol, then I have two long-range weapons and one short-range. I think I'm fine with that. Yeah, just one short-range weapon, that's fine. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to keep the common pistol, but I'm going to go ahead and sell the weathered shortbow. Let's take a look at this thing. Okay. So let's see how fast this thing fires. Uh, where'd it go? Okay. Alright, it sticks into this. Yes, it does. Alright. That is very fast. Nice. I like it. Do I have anything new to say to you? I don't believe I do. That's a Spanish flag. Whatever happened here ended badly for the occupants of this fort. I have learned the fate of a wraith. What did you learn? Gregory Ward killed Edmund Gotham so that he would not be exposed as a Catholic spy. To be a spy is to be a constant liar. One cannot be a liar and a servant of God, to say nothing of being a murderer as well. Shoot this thing. Yeah, it is quite a bit faster. Pretty much twice as fast, I think, at shooting. Alright, where am I headed to next? Let's listen. Shh. Something this direction. Something this way. I'm just gonna skip those enemies over. Some on my left. Whoa. Usually there's more than one. But in this case, it would appear not. I swear I hear noises coming from, like, multiple directions. I think I might be. I'm not sure if you can actually hear noises from multiple directions. Oh, something hurt me. I love this short bow already. Beautiful. I really can't tell. It sounds like it's coming from everywhere. It just sounds like it's coming from this direction. Okay, there's definitely something from here. Yes, definitely something from here. It's not this, is it? Because I still can't dig it up.
Here we go. Check and make sure the area is safe. I do believe it is. Ow. A great quantity of dried blood cakes the ground. The wound was surely mortal. Whoa. Where? 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 Some sticks, a haphazard pile of firewood. It looks as though it was dropped carelessly. Oh yeah, he was searching for uh, firewood. And, well, it would appear he was assaulted. Dug up a steel helmet of exceptional quality, badly dented on one side by, by a powerful blow. Dried blood crusts the interior. I think we know what happened. Okay, there's something from this direction. They do love the weapons. Really cool weapons. Charles Norton killed by cowardly savages. All graves found. Alright, I'm going southeast. So I'm going off in this direction. Into the unexplored. Where, 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 where? The crap is an epic bow duel to the for the ages. Shot in the ass and exploded. <laughs> Alright, how am I doing on arrows? I'm full. Yeah, they all had arrows. So I just picked them up. Sweet. I spy with my eye a chest that I think I already opened. No, I didn't.
The soil is gouged from a struggle and dried blood is spattered and pooled in a wide area. Dug up an Indian-style deerskin shoe. Judging by the size and shape, it most likely belonged to a woman. Alright, I think it's time to travel back. Where's the bell? There's the bell. Should probably sell some crap too. Right, anything I want. I would like to be able to hold more arrows, I suppose. I haven't been running out, but, you know, it's always good. Actually, since I haven't been running out, I should probably just save up for a quality musket. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. 750. I found a deerskin shoe near a scene of violence to the east of here. I remember an Indian girl, maybe 15 years old. She was naked except for one shoe. I didn't like the way she was staring at me, so I ran away. Naked except for one shoe, what the hell? Do you recognize this dented helmet? It's the captain's. I found it at a scene of violence not far from here. Then the savages killed him. Okay, there's something out here, but I can't hear it. Let's try this way. something in this direction? Very hard to tell. Where am I going anyway? Okay, yeah. Yes, I was hearing something. Really creepy. Hi. Who are you? Whoa. Just disappeared. Found an unadorned, unadorned, inexpensive looking sheath for a large knife. Okay, this... I think I hear something from here. It's back at the sentry post, isn't it? Yes. It's 
suppose I could probably fast travel even here, couldn't I? Yeah, I can. I found this knife sheath, sheath where the Indian girl was killed. I remember watching Isaac Cantrill draw his knife. He had the girl pinned to the ground, but she wasn't even struggling, just looking at him. I was begging him to let her go, but he stabbed her so hard I heard the blade scrape the rocks under her. Jesus Christ. Why? Why did he have to do that? hear anything. There's something. Otherwise it would say you can't hear anything. I think there's maybe something in this direction. I think I'm hearing something from here. Where am I going? I'm going north. Oh, I'm just gonna hit a wall, aren't I? Yeah. Unless there is a pathway? Is this a pathway? This might be. I'm really far north. Okay, I definitely hear something. Is that a chest? That is a chest. Crude charm of soldiery. Is that better than my other, other charm? Nope, I've already got one, so I can just sell it. Unless I want to equip it in place of something else, which I don't. Yeah, I don't know. I don't hear anything. Let's try here. Oh, there we go. Why did they kill the captain? What do you mean? The savages. Why did they blame him? He never touched the girl. Is this knife sheath yours? Sheath? I keep saying sheath. <laughs> is this knife sheath yours? It is. Then you were Isaac Cantrill. That's right. I remember now. You killed an Indian girl. The captain swore he'd hang any man that ravished a savage woman. She would have told someone what was done to her. You raped her. We both did. Me and Samuel. Jesus fucking Christ. What happened to you? I remember a savage showing me a finger with a ring on it. It's the captain's ring. So I ask why he killed him, and he says revenge for his sister. I tell him the captain never touched her. It was me. Next thing I knew, I was on the ground, and he was plunging his knife down again and again. <sighs> he 
You raped the Indian girl. I suppose I did. I can remember her lying there, watching me. Why me? Why not Isaac? She was naked except for one shoe. She was bleeding bad from where Isaac stabbed her. She was trying to say something, but all that came out of her mouth was bloody bubbles. I didn't like the way she was staring at me, so I ran away. Richard Wilkinson was killed in retaliation for what was done to her. They wanted revenge, but he told them he would find the culprit himself and see him hanged in accordance with English law. This is a really disturbing storyline. I don't hear anything. Don't hear anything here either. I sent those men to die. Which men? The soldiers under my command. They died because of me. Because I sent them out of the fort. I said Englishmen shouldn't cower behind walls. Is this helmet yours? Yes. Then you are Captain Wilkinson. Yes, I am Richard Wilkinson. What happened to you? I could feel myself screaming, but I heard nothing. So much pain I couldn't breathe. One of the savages opened my visor, leering at me, holding something up, so that I could see it. It was a hand. It wore my ring. I realized I was screaming again. I was sinking into darkness. I let it go. This was what I deserved. You called Samuel Millard a coward. I saw him on the ground. I thought he'd thrown himself down in fear. I apologized afterward. He said there was blood on my hands. You said it should have been my blood. You told Richard Wilkinson it should have been his blood that was spilled. And I made certain that it was. I remember I was whittling at it to pass the time. Whittling it to pass the time. I was anxious, wondering whether he would return after I told those savages that it was him that raped and killed the girl. He was late coming back. You're a seriously fucked up person. I have learned the fate of a wraith. Samuel Millard blamed a crime he participated in on his captain, partly to avenge the needless deaths of his comrades, and partly to hide his own guilt. I would think that a man who finds himself regretting his own deeds would be forgiving of the mistakes of others. Indeed. Okay. I need to move on and find a new place. Can I afford what I want? Quality musket, no. Couple hundred short. Alright, where should I head? I guess down the path. If I look back here, did I miss anything? Don't think so. Alright, yeah, let's head down the path. West. Well, I guess we go south first. I'll just follow the path. Whoa. I heard you. Shit, I missed.
There's <laughs> an arrow stuck in a bush. off the path. Okay, there's the wind. Let me see if I can run during the wind. Oh, kinda. Oh, am I have... I'm out of ammo. Yeah, I'm out of ammo for the musket. Oh, shit. Where is he? Oh, that's him. hear a noise. Oh, there it is. Closer than I thought. They swear that Francis Lavender recently accosted them after dark in the woods to the south, in search of his arm, which was severed in a raid several months ago. It is clearly a fiction, of course. Lavender did not survive that wound. Yeah, if you're missing your arm, you probably wouldn't survive that. Unless you had immediate, immediate care. Westgate destination. Fort St. George. That place looks very large, judging by the map. Yeah, I'm still surprised how big this game is. There's even a little lake off to the west. Let's get a look at the lands around here by jumping up on this rock. No! Don't slide down. Uh. Uh. Oh, I was so close. I can do this. Maybe not. There we go. The lake is somewhere off in this direction. Could be enemies inside of here. I didn't see any, though. Just in case. Nah, it seems safe. Whoa. Oh, what the fucking hell? I did not expect that. <laughs> okay, the ashen figures came alive. What does that note say? 
What even was it that updated? Uh, pff, I don't know. It appears that someone was burnt here. That cannot be good. Maybe I should just preemptively shoot any ashen figures. Whoa. I don't think they like that I did that. Pretty sure there's more. I didn't just hear two come out of... Yep. We are come to the very garden from which Eve and Adam were cast. Now it is our sacred duty to likewise cast out the devil that has infested it and restore it to perfection. Cast out the evil that has infested it. Something tells me by evil they mean, like, what, the natives? William Eastgrove is right. With the Constance sunk by Spaniards, who now encircle Fort Henry and whose scout has been glimpsed on the hills above S Fort St. George, it is madness to leave ourselves spread among so many settlements and outposts. We must marshal our men and push the Catholics back into the sea, lest they whittle us away before help arrives from England. You know, I feel like I'd be able to appreciate the story more if I wasn't absolutely horrible with history. That would certainly help. Chest is empty. Okay, that's kind of creepy. Dionys Barnes brought me a vile effigy he happened upon while scouting the forests to the west. It is fashioned from twigs and animal bones, and quite indisputably depicts the visage of Satan. I cast it into a fire, but it did not burn, only blackened, so I buried it well away from the fort. Interesting sound. Am I about to be besieged or something? I believe I am.
The legs are the weak point, maybe. Actually, maybe they're not. Dear God, die. Thank you. Shit. There's a lot of them. Okay, I think I've almost got them all. It's like somebody just shot at me. Okay. Is there more? Yes. Ta ah, crap, I missed. Okay, any more? Alright, I think I'm good. I need to collect some ammo. Whew, that was hard. That was close. Used up all my health packs. Well, health packs. <laughs> Drank all my water, I guess I should say. Last night, the sentry rang the warning bell, swearing he saw a dark, towering figure moving through the corn. Men searched all around the perimeter with torches and found no one. But this morning, the stalks were withered and the corn rotted in its husks. Man, where did all my ammo go for my shortbow? dump some of this crap that I don't need. Proves a reload speed. You know, I don't even use melee. So let's actually get rid of the ferocity. And replace that with another one of soldiery. Gives me faster reload. I think most of my shots went into the big guy, right? Did I pick up the arrows from the big guy? Or did his body disappear? I think it maybe it disappeared. There might be a body limit. Alright, how am I doing on funds? My dear sir or madam, once again my stock of items offers new choices. Ooh, I've got a lot of money. A lot of money. Crossbow. Whoa, wait, I can get a crossbow? Hmm... <gasps> So what's the advantage? It says special stealthy. A crossbow stealthy? Well, this thing's stealthy too. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not quite sure what I want now. Well, 
Well, I definitely don't want a quiver or something. Running out of arrows is not really a big problem for the most part. So I want a weapon. Bow or a musket? And what about this crossbow? I guess it just does more damage. Yeah, it's really slow, though. So is is a crossbow basically just like a musket, but it does less damage? But the difference is that you can recover your ammo? It says slow. The musket's also slow, so I'm assuming they're both about the same speed. Moderate, slow, 10% chance to deflect. Yeah, I mean... It seems like the only difference. It seems like it's the same as the musket, at least from what I can see from the stats, except it does less damage. Yeah, I'm not too interested in that. I think I'm just going to go with the quality musket. Yeah, so rusty musket does 75, quality musket does 105. Big difference. Do I want to keep the pistol? I'll, I'll keep it. It's not much of a reason to sell it. It's not worth that much. Whoa. Who, where did you just shoot that arrow from? Trajectory. Look, look at the trajectory. It went over the home? Damn. I thought you might need this. The clapper for a bell. Why, thank you. dug up a blood-stained strip of cloth. It appears to have come from a woman's gown. Okay, that was the only clue. Let's ring the bell. Something heard me. The thief escaped. What? There was a thief? Hold on. Oh, hi. Something terrible happened here. This place fills me with foreboding. Who did they burn in front of the church? How were the walls breached? The ash figures that were here came to life and attacked me. At first I thought you mad. Now I fear that when you crawled out of the sea, you left some part of you behind. Okay, can I have another shot at catching the thief? Let's be stealthy. Hopefully they're not permanently gone. I'm not sure of where the sound is, is the thief? I don't know. I have lost my way. The sound of the bell will guide you. Okay, let's see if that notice the thief has escaped appears again, because if so, then I can keep trying it. Oh, 
Looks like I only had one shot at it. Hmm. Where is Winfried? I must find my wife. Where did you last see her? I- whoa! Uh... Uh, uh... I don't know what he just said, but I heard screaming. The thief- oh, the thief escaped. Okay, so the thief does come back. I'm sorry, what are you saying? I found a bloody cloth in a field outside the walls. I remember I called to Winfried, and she waved to me. Suddenly the horse screamed and reared up and threw her aside. The beast trampled her as it lunged away and leapt the wall. I ran to her, tearing a strip from her gown to try to staunch the bleeding. And then I saw the girl, Emma Clark, standing by the fence, staring dumbly, her hands bloody. I called out to her, but she ran away. Alright, let's try to get this thief. I'm assuming the thief is just somewhere in the town, right? What the hell? Okay, so sneaking doesn't work. Which means I need to run? The thief has been slain. Okay, I don't know what that really did, but... I did it. So what did that do in my notes? The thief? Where would it be? Summary? Yeah, thief slain. Okay. Somewhere in this direction. East. So yeah, I'm going here into the mountains. is gone. Oh, I don't even have to fight anything? I guess not. Sweet. into the mountains. <sighs> Eustace Cage, dead of sickness. Was your head taken from you? 
quite so. I shall seek to return it to you. Oh, I think it's towards the lake, isn't it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Actually, maybe not. Looks like I'm passing the lake. Here we go. This one's not too happy. Oh god. That was actually quite challenging. Don't need to talk to you. Apparently not. Gotta go somewhere in this direction. Okay, now now I think I need to go towards the lake. Let's try out this thing. <laughs> really, I missed. It can surely only be a matter of weeks now before a supply fleet reaches us and we can leave these cursed shores forever. Our sole occupation in the interim must be to withstand the manifold dangers that presently threaten us, from hunger and malady to savages and Spaniards to whatever friends fiends howl in the forests by night. Someone made a fire here.
Are you the person that ran away? How shall I find my way home? The sound of the bell will guide you. Tomahawk harness. Oh, and a couple tomahawks. Yeah, I'm not sure what's up with these these uh, corruption statues. Like, I don't know if they're optional or what. But obviously, cleansing the place of corruption can only be a good thing, right? Okay, this one's not too happy either. I'm gonna hide behind a tree. Shifted, dispersing the stench of corruption from the area. Okay, so once the place has been like, once you've done that, maybe it just makes less enemies spawn in the area or something? Where's that damnable girl? I keep calling for her, but she won't answer. Who? My maidservant, Emma Clark. Where did you last see her? In front of the church. Our eyes met for just a moment through the congregation. I called out to her, but she couldn't hear. Who are you? Charity Hammond. It appears someone was burned at the stake in front of the church. I remember now. Our eyes met for just for a moment through the congregation. I called out to her, but she couldn't hear over the shouting and chanting. Then the flames rose up, and she started to scream. Why was she burned? It was Calvin Stevens who sentenced her. What in the hell is wrong with you? You sentenced Emma Clark to burn? It isn't enough to kill a witch. She had to be purified. Why did he forsake me? Who? The Master. Who do you mean? Mr. Hammond. Tobias. You are Emma Clark? Yes, I remember now. Calvin Stevens saw you standing by the fence with bloody hands when his wife was trampled. I remember walking back towards the fort through the woods with Tobias. He cried out suddenly and drew his pistol. I was terrified, but it was only a hare we had startled from the brush. Tobias took aim and fired, but the shot didn't kill it. It was screaming and writhing horribly, so I ran to it and wrung its neck so that, so that it would not suffer. I wiped my hands on the leaves, but I couldn't get the blood off. After that, I walked back alone, so we would not be seen together. Emma's hands were stained with rabbit blood. The smell, the smell must have spooked the horse. Yet only that morning, Winfrey told me the girl had stolen a child and bewitched a gentleman of the colony. What happened cannot have been chance. Whose child was stolen? Charity Hammond's. And it was her husband who was bewitched. She testified to it. You testify that Emma stole your child and bewitched your husband? 
I only told the truth. That I lost the child I was carrying shortly after Emma came to work for me, and that I was desperate to conceive again. But Tobias would not lie with me. In the end, he gave Emma what should have been mine. She was pregnant. You didn't claim it was witchcraft? No, though I didn't claim it wasn't. But it was Tobias who truly sealed her fate, saying that he had been snared by her sorcery and led into inequity against his will. When he killed himself, some said it was her curse still on him, but it was only guilt for betraying her. Something out there. And these dreams and outbursts of hers are no more than manifestations of my daughter's grief over the disappearance of her sister. Should you mention the supernatural again in regards to Allison, you shall find her mother a more perilous adversary than any you have yet made in this place. Hmm. Manifestations of my daughter's grief over the disappearance of her sister. Is this talking about the maiden in red? Looking for her twin sister? It said Allison. Is that her name? Why were you invisible for a second? You silly. Yeah, something this way. 